Much of the focus for public health officials has been on the coronavirus variants emerging around the world. And with the variant first identified in South Africa, now confirmed to be in Ontario, we spoke to an infectious disease specialist about the science behind these mutations, how they emerge, what makes them more dangerous, and why the race to vaccinate has become that much more urgent. Virus is mutating all the time. It's just only certain uh, mutations that give the virus an advantage survive. It's those mutations that then become what health officials call variants of concern. The UK variant has the advantage of being more contagious, something that could happen when the viruses spike protein. Those protrusions that jut out and attach to our cells change shape at the contact point. The mutation could change the configuration of the spike protein and that allows it to uh, attach more easily, easier to uh, the cell and then uh, so it allows it to invade and uh, then reproduce. Mutated viruses could also reinfect someone who has already fought off a COVID-19 infection. So there have been cases around the world of people getting reinfected with a different strain of COVID. So that is possible. Uh, you know, still uh, the viruses are, are similar enough that someone who's had COVID with one strain and gets it with another strain may have milder disease. For now, she says it's just a race to vaccinate as many Canadians as possible before the virus mutates to a point where current vaccines are rendered ineffective. Pfizer's chief executive recently stated that there is a, quote, high possibility this could happen with the company's current vaccine. If there's a strain completely not responsive to the vaccine, then that's a problem. But as long as people have even some partial response, then that protects that person, hopefully from getting COVID and then from spreading it. So how can we better protect ourselves from these variants? One expert says more than doubling up on masks, first make sure the mask you have is well fitted to your face. When you put it on and you loop it up over, over your ears, there's gaps around it. Only when you breathe in, um, the air will take the path of least resistance and go around into the gaps. So the general population now, especially with these new variants that are more transmissible, we should all be wearing N95 masks? Uh, or better, that should be the end goal. I also asked Dr. Banerjee if she believes that, like the flu shot, we may need to get vaccinated against COVID-19 every year. She says that may well be a possibility.